to be a permanent nuisance. I can't look here. Which day will pass without anyone having one complaint or the other about you? Look at what you've done to me this morning. I suspected me with harassment to take him south. Didn't you see me coming? Or oh, don't you know that anybody that sees that Carl Shank makes way for him to pass? Don't you? So everybody should run away because 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 of your useless intoxication. Because of this useless from when you drink. I, I am not surprised at you because almost every man your age has zero respect for elders like me. Yes. I'm happy you said elder. Yes. Like you. Yes. If you behave like an elder, won't you be respected? Are you an elder? Only the ghost knows why I am converting this insult from you. Because everybody in Umu and beyond knows that nobody can talk to a car of sale like this and get away with it with the whole body still intact. Yes! Try and remedy what is left of your dignity, Akalusia. Try and be responsible. Save half of the money you spend on this useless soup and wine and marry a wife for yourself that will help you at your ripe old age. That is my best to you. Leave my weapon. Get away! Get out! Before you think I'm letting you go because you are a prince. Shut up! You are my reason! Shut up! I am forgiving you because of your elder brother. Next time you try this nonsense, but I can't say I'm getting there. I, I will not remember him. I, I will deal with you ruthlessly. I can see that the penguin you are drinking is, is making you senseless. Get away! Get away! You have any problem with that? Yes, yes, I only need an answer to that. Do you have a problem with that? How can you say that? Why are you supporting this kind of insult or not? What kind of insult? That one is insulting yourself. What nonsense? Back! Mere! Oh, you're not going to do this. I'm a real Akuma. Yes, sir. This man does not belong to us. Oh, so I'm not going to have to have this. This is supposed to be a reason. Oh, you may have to have this. I'm a real Akuma. No, not some, not some. Some of you are here. Some what? Who are here? Who is here? Who is here? Who is here? You're just not the kind of way with something that we cannot even prove. What is he talking about? Well, I am talking what we are talking about. Huh? Let me tell you something. Don't, don't believe that that the men you call father are actually your father. Yes. Oh. yes. Oh. It is not possible that your mother's money to drag them into the mess to come out of the house. Who can go there? Who can go there? Yes. Who can do more? Who can What's the point of me? Thank you very much. But the difference is that this man, this man. He's a nobody. Yes. He cannot be defeated by Kenobi. A single one in this, oh. in this our kingdom, I call him his father. Hey, hey, oh. hey, hey! Let me remind you that I was born here. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I was bred here. Yes. You know what I mean? We grew up together. Uh -huh. So what makes you think? Yeah. Prove it. What makes you think? 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 That you are better than me! Because my brother is unknown! What? Who is your father? Wait, let me tell you. Because your father is unknown, makes you a new one. Yes! Because your father is unknown, makes you a nobody! Yes! Let me tell you. This government. This gathering is meant for no woman of whom we are No woman is verified in it. I know you. You know because you have an eye on your manager. Yes, no manager prevents alcohol in there. To you. What are you saying? Listen. You are just drinking all this nonsense. You are just drinking all this nonsense. On the same single reason, no Benda. I've been a fight like a mad. Stop! 
Listen, let me just tell you people now. I am not trying to prove that I am not powerful. Brother, I am trying to show that I am not sensible. What I'm not saying is here. I'm going to say here. Was born among God. Therefore, bred here. So, and then what? He is one of us. If you people continue with this unnecessary hostility on him, I shall be forced to show you why my father named me Upongo. I smell trouble. What got the jelly shot? What's that awful smell? Is it coming from you? Is it not obvious? Is it not obvious? That 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 idiot. Get get me with this pomoy this morning. I, I thought we had no more idiots in this kingdom. Mother, is this even funny? I'm serious here. Oh. I can't be saying get empty this keg of pomoy on me. Oh, but you said you were going to see your friend again. How did you end up with the trunk? I see you don't know how you moved. My brother, please, how did this happen? I hope the pomoy was actually from his head and not his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Something has to be done about that idiot. Too. Something has to be done. He can't he can, he can just wake up in the morning. What about spoiling people's day? Every, what, what about that? Everyone in this kingdom knows he's a drunk. So he shouldn't be held responsible for his, for his behavior. What are you doing in my room? Not inside my room now. <laughs> in my room? Did you see that? Don't take any of my wrappers off. Why did you stop talking? Because you were not listening. Is there any problem? Problem? No. Why? You keep looking that way. Are you expecting someone to come from that side? Um, uh, actually, I'm supposed to be at the square with the millions. I'm running late already. That's why. I'm sorry. That explains it then. Maybe you were not supposed to be here after all. Um, cool. I don't talk like that. I think not Fine. No, I'm not upset. I am just hoping to see the time that we are going to be together. Mm -hmm. When will I see you again? I will come and see you at your court immediately I'm gone to you. Yeah? I'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> What is the meaning of these stairs? I eh? don't understand you too. How could you claim you were here waiting for us? Uh -uh. That is a very annoying lie, Omanika. And you can only tell this lie to some fools. What are you talking about? I knew you would pass here. And I decided to stand here and wait for you. What is wrong with that? <laughs> Rumor has been going around the town, if you don't know, that this is the meeting place for you and that good for nothing boyfriend of yours, Akoli. And she can't even deny that. Uh -uh. Deny what? Do you listen to yourself at all? Do you? Why should I wait for you here? He doesn't have a father. Yes. But does he mean he doesn't have a house as well? Maybe you should tell us. Ooh. Tell you what? Akonika, what is your problem? Do you want to make Akonika the topic of the day as usual? Yes. Since you have refused to use the brain in your score. Come on, Malika. What is wrong with you? What has that good for nothing boyfriend of yours, that useless boy, done to you? Eh? Why are you bent on making your life useless with him? No, shut up! What is your business? What right do you have to call him useless? Have you ever been close to him? 
You have not been close to somebody and you're calling him useless. You have to be close to someone. You say you judge him. That is if you have the right. May the gods forbid. So here. Get close to who? Ako Lisa. This can never happen. Oh wait, oh. You think everyone is as senseless as you? Oh please, don't even insult me. Bukolika, I am very hot tempered. Don't insult me. Oh Malisha, she's not insulting you. You're the only child of your mother. And it's very unfair for you to make her life miserable by ending up with someone like Akolisa. The earlier you cut him off, the better for everyone. What is your problem? What business of yours is it? How I choose to live my life? What? I am heading for the square. If you like, you come along with me. If you don't, stand here and, and start talking to someone that doesn't even notice you. Can you imagine? We do more. Let's go. <laughs> Do you angry when you study my friend? I will always remind you of that, that holy thing. Hey. 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 Honestly, I don't know because I'm flitting up the 20 women's hair today. 20? Yes. You're going to play 20 persons hair just in one day? Yes. It's my job. And I can't complain. It's a great honor that women of this land chose me, among other hairdressers, to be in charge of their beauty affairs for this great occasion they're preparing for. Mother, you're working too hard. You need help. Hi. Unfortunately, no madam is ready to learn craft these days. They all want to be happily married to hard-working men. Businessmen and uh, merchants. <laughs> That's what is the case. That's what is it. Right? You oh. have to be her attention. She's no lady in the village. After all, you are the blessed. You're stupid. I told you, I have made your lunch. Okay, I'll be back before dinner. <laughs> you know, he will be a blessing. That lunch is for you and I. Only the Shukuna Nyan Sum. Wow, what is it? I've stopped saying that. You will not eat it, I won't give you that food. You're consulting me. Because I yeah? said that you're going to be happy. Uh, are you not jobless? You're not going to eat it. Finish. Uh, yes. Okay, let, let me replace. He's yeah. not going to be! He's not going to be a baby! I need you to say something. By the order of the elders. You are the leader of the Navy. You are not exploring your power as the leader. That is why a lot of us are misbehaving. Exactly what I was planning to say. If order must be restored in this group, then leadership must! Yes, yes, yes. 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 Mm. Mm. Do you know why this just happened? I don't understand you. We had a time for this meeting, right? Right? Yes! Yes! If I could make it early enough, why couldn't all of you? You are the second leader. Coming just now does not show how important the position is to you. I'm sorry. I was waiting for my friends. Eh? Eh? Friend? Oh. Not friends. Um, I wonder why you did not bring him here to this meeting as huh? an evidence. <laughs> yes. Did I say something wrong? I am talking about Akaulisa. Is it not the reason why you came late? Akaulisa, are you mad? You have lost your senses, haven't you? No. 
I am just trying to make sure that you're not using us as an excuse. <laughs> because the reason why you came late is because of that your useless boyfriend. All I'm saying is that we should all try and be more responsible to this union. Nobody is exempted. I am sounding this as a note of warning because I do not want a repetition of what Anika and Umeka just said. Is that clear? Is that clear? Yes. 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 What are you saying? I am being very plain and not a slave man again. Then you're making no sense. Huh? I am talking about how her friends said all sorts of things about me. And you're here. I am here telling you how to put an air to that nonsense. Huh? This is not new, I promise you. This is not new. But you have allowed me to linger for too long. Huh? For how long do you intend to put up with all this nonsense? If you don't you give you give of all the insult you receive from 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 even men that are not tall enough to look at your chest. What? And now millions have added to the team. My mother has been very good to me. And I do not wish to upset her by asking her all the time. Ah, oh. Do you think it's easy for her to? You are a man, I call it. Sir. Very man. Eh? Well, you are supposed to be a man, but your attitude is beginning to make me question that right now. Eh? Anyway, let me get some food for us to eat. As for you. The food will give you more strength to haul insult to me. For me, it will give me more strength to bear the insult. I wish I could get into him and make him act like a man for once. He is too weak for my liking. The only good thing about him is his good heart. In as much as I do not support Nicolika for her insensitivity, I also do not support you for giving her the opportunity to make such a comment. Nicolika, as we know, talks without thinking. She has the habit. So what are you talking about? And everyone knows you have been shamelessly going out with Akolika. What is your problem? Akolika might have a side of which you do not know of. <laughs> that doesn't mean he doesn't have one. Mm. Yes! So what is it? Why are you making one out of the world here? Why? Oh, Malicha, you are from one of the most respected families in this kingdom. Ladies below your standard will not even look at him twice. Not to talk of going out with him. Exactly. I'm glad you said that. And that should also make you understand that I'm different from other ladies. Yes! What are you talking about? Akulisa is a nice man. He doesn't have any bad record. He is not a thief. Mm. Neither is he a womanizer. So why should I leave him? Because no woman looks at him. Men become womanizers when they are attracted. No one is like an outcast. I'm feeling so sick that you're not getting this, Amalisa. Ah, oh, don't stop it. This is your problem. Why are you talking negative of a man who has never thought even about you? Please, Amalisa, please do not drag me into this. I'm only telling you about it because I care. That's why. You should be wiser than this. Huh? Yes. A lady of your sex and son, and you get any responsible man. You do this to save your face and that of your family. A word they say is enough for the wise. And I know you're not foolish. Ah, please. They don't just mind their business. They keep proclosing. Akolisa is a nice man. He has to give me the reason for me to start avoiding him. If not, I will not leave him. He's a nice man. Okay. You 
You should have told us that you've been having another meeting with Adadi Obu. Don't say what did you? Hey, 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 do you think you can just talk to me anyhow you want? I want to believe you're not talking about what I said at the meeting. How dare you? Well, Olive, how dare you trying to tell me how to live my life? Huh. Talk more about addressing my issues in public. How dare you? Oh, Malicha, please. She didn't mean any harm by what she said. Understand? Shouldn't you be grateful? Oh, Malicha. Shouldn't you be grateful that I am trying as much as I can to save you from yourself? <sighs> oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. You think I will be happy seeing people talk about you, you that is my friend, talk about you in that manner? Please, just shut up your mouth. Did you just use that word, friend? Yes. Please, don't even try it again. Because you do not know the meaning. Let me remind you, Nkoleka, in case you have forgotten. Friends, watch over each other. Not dragging them down. So don't you ever use that word, friend, again, because you do not deserve to use it. But we all mean well for each other. I'm going to understand now. Indeed. I don't understand. I don't want this insult again. It's my life. I can choose to be with a madman if I so desire. So what is all this? Please, my friends, stay in your space and let me stay in mine. If you will be looking for my trouble, because I will take it. Excuse me. In our what? What do you want? Hey! So I blame you. Why should I? Nobody is saying that you are telling lies. All you are saying is that you have a notorious way of exaggerating things out of proportion. Not only that. He likes seeking attention. Everywhere he goes, we want them to notice him. What is, the point? what is it? Yes, I tend to exaggerate sometimes. I love attention too. But this one is different. Uh, uh, um, please. Why is this even the topic of discussion? What discussion? What is called? I I some of us are fathers. Yeah, some of us. And that is why we are Omenna. Sons of fathers. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Yeah, yeah, yeah. laughs> wait, wait, wait. Point of correction, Omenna. I am lost here. What is the discussion all about? What we are saying here now is that the people of Habagana wants to take over our territory. Yeah. And they think we should do something while we have fathers and they've not done anything. Mm. Fathers. How long are we going to wait on our fathers? Your so called fathers will not protect this land forever. Why do they have us? But I'm to be listening. Please. Mm -hmm. I am not with you in this one. Obia, I am not with you. Uh, Umuna, see. You know, when men are talking, mm -hmm. boys, boys should not be <laughs> in their midst. I am going to reveal where you are pointing at the rest of my father for the boys. Who go and well again say, Obia is meant for men. Men with root. Men with root. That is. I'm not those. Listen, all these fools are mad. Are you know me? Eh? Don't allow this their nonsense discussion. Eh? 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 Yes, yes. Why did you stop? What do you expect me to do? I can't go there. Hi. Didn't you hear them? It's only for men with you. Okay. Uh, uh, no problem. You understand? Uh, okay. Uh, don't go for the wrestling match. But can we talk about this? Talk about what? The same thing that I've been talking about all this while. My sincere advice since we became friends. See, you come, brother. My mother is too precious for me to be bothering ah. about what people say or think. I 
cannot do it. Eh, uh, you cannot do it. So what now? Eh? So you, 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 you allow people to just talk to you anyhow. Why don't you put, put an end to all this? I won't allow anybody to push me into doing anything stupid. You know, talk is free. Anybody can afford it. Uh, yes, talk is cheap. Oh, talk is cheap. Anybody can afford it. So you can afford to be humiliated. Yeah? Because I saw the agony in your eyes back there. Even as you stop now, I can see how broken you are. Um, Ukongo. Uh, All I need to do now is to go home and rest. To go home and rest? Yes. I could listen. Uh, no problem. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead and go home and rest. And you come out and meet the same humiliation, the same insult among our people. Even among the women. I wonder. Ah, for how long will I stand and watch this noble and kind hearted man be humiliated? For mistake that is not even his. Hey, 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 Stop it! Stop it! You think this is a man? Stop it! Hey! You think this is a man? Stop it! 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 Stop we will buy it. Yes, we will buy it. How much? Okay. It's only me. No go. No go. He said. Okay. Um. 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 Yes. Okay. Okay. Take this. Take this. Take it. And what should I do with this thing? Um. Um. This thing is a bead, and it's very expensive. My mother gave it to me. She said it's very expensive. No other person has ever seen this. Please, 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 just sell it in the place of your money. It's expensive. You get your money from it, please. Are you sure? Yes. But don't kill me. You can... 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 Get up, get up, let's go. You can... Get up, get up, let's go. Get up, let's go! You can... I was among those that mocked him because of his faith, and yet he wasted no time in giving up his most valued possession to save my life. What will I not do to, to, to save his face? Exactly what I needed. What? I had a um, depressing time with the men this morning. So you coming around is best therapy for me. What is the problem? Is there anything the matter? I need for us to talk. I need to talk to you. Okay. What do you want to talk about? I'm always here for you. You can talk to me. Oh, 
The whole thing is becoming too much for me, mother. I cannot bear it anymore. Talk to me. You know you can tell me anything. Is it the men? Are they taunting you again? I am not bothered about the men. I have decided to forget everything about them. I decided to stay away from them. But you know how much I love Omalija. Her love is one of the things that keep me going. But I saw her on my way coming. She did not look as if anything was wrong. You know how I feel about you, but... Omalija, stop, stop, stop saying this. Why are you talking like this? Stop it. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You do. The only thing I understand is that love conquers all. And this is nothing. It's nothing? Yes. Being laughed at everywhere is nothing to you. Being mocked every time amongst my peers is nothing to you. Oh, my God, I did not fall from the sky. A man begot me. <laughs> Allowing what people see get to you. Then where is the man? Where is the man? That is the issue at hand. Until the man shows his face. Akolisa, you do not mean anything to the people. You don't. Listen to me, Akolisa. It is better this way. It is. Everybody is looking at us. We need to keep it on a low key. Amarita, you are not looking for any low key. You are looking for a way to break up with me. I know this is all about Odina, right? You want to use this circumstance to, 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 to fall back on him. That's your problem. That has always been your problem. Always putting your blame on others. What is wrong with you? Well, Akonisa, I don't care about what you think. But the truth still remains that I have taken a decision. And that decision is to stay away for now. Thank you. Thank you. Mother, you know how much you mean to me. Mother was consoled that she could love me, despite all odds. But there is no odd. I keep telling you that. Mother, you know our people. Anybody without roots is as good as animal. You know all that. But so you think you have no roots? I call it and we have discussed this before. Mother, who is my father? You said my father married you under the sacredness of Ajani. And that's the truth. I can't lie with something as big as that. Mother, please, please take me to him. Show me to him. Please, show me my father. I want to look at him and see his face. So I can look at people and tell them this is who my father is. Please, mother, show me who my father is. I, I want to call him by his name. That is all I ask for. Akolisa, I bore you just like every other mother. I took care of you from birth till now. I love you. I care for you with everything that I have. I walk her day in day out just to take good care of you can't you just trust me i call this and you have a father a father 
is a life. But I can't just bring him to you. Because I trust the gods. Only the gods can bring him to you at the right time. Can these words keep you strong for me? Greetings in me. How are you, my daughter? So quickly go to Jetty's house. Paul. Mama, please, I am running late for the train. Listen, you have a father, but I can't just bring him to you. Only the gods can bring him to you at the right time. Can these words keep you strong for me? I have a father. He will come for me when the gods approve. When would that be? Ujuma, do you know why I halted? That is because I don't want you to keep embarrassing me. Embarrass you? What do you mean by that? I just want to know what transpired between you and Akoli. Say, you don't even greet each other. And how is that your business? How is that an issue here? Don't you mind your business for what? I leave me alone. Won't you? Let me be. It's okay. We are not quarreling. I just want to know where we all started, so you can actually be this circle of all people. Oh my God. Oh, 
should never worry about me. Okay? I can take care of myself. What? Eh? Oh, 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 oh. Is it because you saved me from that brood last time? You now believe that I go about making troubles? Eh? I never said so. You promised to come back last night, but you never did. So I became worried. That's why I came around to, to see you. Uh, 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 and I, I, I was about coming to your hall too. You understand? Uh, listen, I failed to come to your house last night because I returned very late from Waka. What? Yes. Not Waka? For a sake. What kind of language is that? Uh, uh, He gone. Yes. What are you doing with that? I put it. Put it for me. This is for you. It's not for me. You take it before I tell you what it is for. It's not for me. I'm not taking it. You're not taking it? Yes, I'm not taking it. I call you, sir. You're not being the coward, though. I am not taking it. If anything, I am so happy about the news. If it is true. It is true. I saw it and I witnessed it myself. Did they even say greetings to each other? Then we should be happy. <laughs> Finally, Emalita, our friend, has come back to her senses. Please, don't make it sound like it's a bad news. This one is bad because her attitude has changed. Which attitude? You already know Emalita. Sometimes her beauty gets into her head, mm. but she misbehaves. This one is different. She looked so irritated and unhappy. I, I, I think it's about her breakup with Akolse. That is your problem, not mine. If she's irritated or unhappy. Mokomo, why should you be bothered about it? What matters most is that she's no longer talking to that boy. Mm. That is if what you reported is true. I'll still verify. Ago. Ago. You're not bringing that thing into my house. I hope you know that. Uh -uh. What is your problem, Ako? What is your problem? No, you're the problem. You're the problem. Are you out of your mind? How could you even suggest that to me? Hey. Why do you behave as if I asked you to shoot your mother? Eh? To threaten my mother with a gun and to shoot her. What's the difference? You misunderstand me. Yeah. Listen, all you need is to get her open up of who your father is. That's all. Eh? She is being open by allowing you to pass through all this ordeal. Yeah. Take it. Take it. You are not killing her. Hey. That is the spirit. Hey. Point it at her and immediately she will start talking. Not long ago, you were one of those who mocked me. In fact, you were the worst of them. But that did not stop me from saving your life when I did. Without no apologies from you. The only crime my mother committed was to give birth to me and to not tell me and he's still not turning me up to now. If I did not allow that man take your life while you were an enemy, 
why would lie as little as hurt the woman that love me the one that gave life to me i thought we have an understanding already eh you are not going to hurt her besides this gun is not even loaded I thought you've changed towards me. I thought what you had for me is true love, but I was wrong. Okay. Ah! Whoever that fathered him is a coward, and the coward completely vomited himself. She has been carrying on like that for some time now. Really? But I have not noticed it. You had her at home now. How would you have noticed? Yeah. Why don't you try to go to her if you are that worried? I try to talk to her. She should be sleepy. Think she's alright. I know. If she is alright, she will dismiss you. You are beginning to understand my point in mind. Eh? I, I hate to see her in that mood. Okay, uh, uh, do you want me to talk to her? Yes. Maybe she will open up to you. Huh? Mm, uh, hi, my dear. Please, is our manager home? We came to call her for the meeting at our Yes. Yes. Uh, She's right there. Uh, I, 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 will, I, will, I will try and talk to her. Duty of Umiata. This is you're pacing around as if you're not going to the square today. What is happening at the square? Ha. You can only ask that question if your memory has been lost. <gasps> Have you forgotten today is our usual outing day? <laughs> Maybe you are right, Ujumwa. I have lost my memories. Good. That is why we are here to help you. Oh? Let us go because I wouldn't have you giving me an excuse of being late. Mm -hmm. I am not going anywhere with you. Don't even ask me why. Don't ever come back to this house asking me to go anywhere with you. Not for anything. Excuse me. Omalisha. Omalisha. Don't worry yourself. We are leaving. Who is the manager we've come to call? She said she won't make it today. Was she the one that said she won't make it today? Did I hear them right? And she has never missed that outing before. No. Now, you, you see what I'm talking about, eh? Not every man in Umiku is known for something. Mm. Okay. It depends on what a man is known for. It doesn't matter. What matters is for a man to be known for something. At least when his name is mentioned, people will say one thing or another about him. Yes. Mm. Mm. We all know who is this place. Hmm. Exactly. Exactly. You are in the spirit, my brother. Of course I am. If it was when Akalusia was loaded, I would have asked them to give you another bottle of air. Thank you. For making just that excellent point. Yes. Thank you. Hmm. Akalusia, you see, people see me and laugh at me. 
Because they think that that kind of thing is an idiot. But the joke is actually on them. Because they do not know the kind of spirit that I communicate with. Whenever I embrace my little mm, yes. <laughs> Why not allow yourself a little respect and control over pound wine? Father, <gasps> Father, I'm doing that right now. I'm doing that right now. You better do. I understand you, my son. I don't think you do, Father. I don't. You must not be in a hurry, son. This is the throne of your fathers. Your own throne. Hmm? It's your birthright. What is it, my son? Father, how much longer do I have to wait? I think I'm of age now. Son, we must follow due process. And that is what we are just doing for you. We are busy preparing it for you. Huh? Do not be in a hurry. Look. This is for you. It is your birthright. No one, I repeat, no one is contending with you. Just the size little person. Just small talk. Just small talk. Yes. I don't talk to jokes. It is about the bill that you are holding. I know the owner. He is a very powerful man. If you find so with it, he's going, you are going to lose your life. Because I'm certain you stole it from him. No, the owner. I know you better than you do. He's a very powerful king. If he sees that in your hand, you will lose your life. Now I know that what he's talking is not you, but the liquor inside you. Uh, the, the man that gave me this was not a king. He, he, he used it to, to pay me for the money he was owing me. And ever since then, I've been moving everywhere looking for somebody to buy this. But nobody will look at me with it twice. I will not buy those lies from you. And even though I do not know who you are, I must find you. And I must report you to him because you are a thief. It's here, come, Madra, for me, Asa. My father that means the whole world to me. I am happy that you are bothered about me. But sincerely speaking, father, it is nothing you can help me with. Amalita, to tell me that I cannot help in any problem that has to do with my only child is an insult to me. In fact, it's a slap on my face, and you know it. No, father, I'm sorry. Don't feel insulted. I can never insult you. Please. Your mother has been very worried. You must have noticed that too. Are you not bothered? Or are you happy seeing her in that mood? Are you? Okay. Now tell me. What is it? I am ready to help out in any way I can. Your happiness is our concern. You are our only child. What is it? Father, he's a good man. He deserves everything but the humiliation and heartbreak he's passing through right now. I feel very guilty, Father. I feel like I am the one causing him pain. Wait, wait. Who are you talking about? Who? Father, I thought that succumbing to the pressure to leave him would solve this situation. No, it didn't. In fact, it has made it worse. So, Amalita, so you are telling me boldly that this whole attitude of yours is all about a man. Eh? 
Father, please, I thank you. Please. Your support is stronger than all the condemnation from everyone. Please. Father, allow me to be with him. Manita, I, I don't want to believe you are talking about that bastard son of a nobody. So, wait, 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 wait. Uh, have you been seeing him? Eh? Have you been seeing him? <laughs> After all the warnings I gave you, the very first day I, I had the news of your, your stupid uh, 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 relationship with him. Eh, Amarja? I'm sorry, Father, please. He's a good man. Okay. And I love him, please. In order to have your replacement, I will have to find another maiden to replace your mother since she could no longer bear me a child. <laughs> By that, I will have a son with a brain. Father? Yes. Tight? My princess, give me a child? The throne business is a very serious one. It is not a business of the babes. It is a business of real men who have the power to interpret the throne. I'm sure he's happily looking forward to that noble responsibility. Then when we him are trying to that responsibilities. Eh? Just give him a little time, Father, please. I will talk to him. The great king that I will forever adore. Father, do you want him to come? Or should I say Uba Malonam The great king that I will forever adore. Take it easy. Father. Huh? Should I ask the guards to throw him out? No. What's on his name? He's a true son of this son. I can say again. I say you will live long. I can say you will live long also. Why your? Why your? Why Easy, easy. Why Why Easy. I can say. I can say easy. I can say why My king. Easy. Before the usual police address, let me state my vision before I forget. Better now. I saw him at Utenko Spa. Oh yes, I know that you don't drink, but everyone knows Utenko Spa. Just like everyone knows that Utenko Spa is your second home. In this land, or even first. <laughs> oh yes, eh? let me not get carried away by that decorated insult. Nobody will insult you, my presence. Nobody. Oh yes, eh? mm -hmm. I saw the band that stole that royal beat that you have been looking for. Yes, 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 oh, yes eh? I did. Oh yes. Eh? I was at the verge of bringing the thief here. But when he said he escaped. But I know his face. Yes, I know his face. When he said, come with me. Come with me. I will go and show you to the man. Yes, son, yes. Father. Please, my I will let you deal with this son of the sun. You are free, my daughter. Go. Excuse me, father. I can lose you again. I couldn't get anyone. Oh, yes, the more you stay at me, the further the thief goes. Come on, yes. God! Yes, Your Majesty. Why are you doing this, Ukwengwele? Am I asking for too much? <coughs> you cannot be asking for too much. After all, what you ask me to do is talk. Talking is what I do for a living. Then why are you refusing me? Ha! You know that in this present situation of mine, you are the only one that can help me get through to him. Yeah. Hey, please. Okay. Let me now disappoint myself since that is what you want. I do not have access to Akoli, sir, at the moment. Mm -hmm. 
Eh? You see? You see that look on your face? That is what I've been trying to avoid. Eh? What does that mean? I mean, what do you mean to tell me? We all in this village know that he is your best friend. Mm -hmm. So what is the problem? Eh? That was before. That was before. You understand? That was before. A lot have changed already. Please, Amata, I don't want to talk about this again. I'm sorry, Ukwengwele. We are already talking about it. And we have to finish it. Eh. Uh, Meanwhile, tell me. What is going on between you and your friend? He fell out with me. So between you and I, now, who do you think that needs a messenger to your alcoholism? Hmm? Eh? Yes, sir. Or else that you could be making the worst mistake of your life. There is a thief in Umiku, and we need to catch him. And you need to get the necklace back. And I remain the only way to that. My friend, take your drunken self out of here. Men, men like you can never experience the kind of breeze that my wine gives to me. So you don't have to talk about it as if it is that bad. Leave. Leave. Onyeze, I will try not to forget the man's face in case if you decide to go after him. But no matter what, I can't lose you. I can't lose you. I can't lose you. If you had allowed me to leave earlier, this baboon here wouldn't have seen me. Who is a baboon? Uh, uh, you know, see, uh, are you not a baboon? Come on, go on. I'm on my way to your hut. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, what's up? Uh, the business I had with you ended long time ago. Come on, go on. Come on, go on. For me to still be having this bid in my position, means our business has not ended. Uh, 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 that is not my business. It is not my business. <laughs> Amanda, since you know me in Umiata, have you ever seen me wear this kind of beat? Yeah? Look at one, look at the ones I wear. Look at the kind of, what not says? Yeah? Yeah? Ukwen Gwere. Ukwen Gwere. I don't like trouble. Talk more of your own trouble. You promises to ruin my life. Huh? See, everywhere I go, I, 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 I've been accused. So me for stealing a real bead. But, but by name, I want to sell it to you. What, what is this? Uh -huh. what, what is my business there? What, what is this? <laughs> Stay away from me. You can have the bead. Have the money. Stay away from me. <laughs> What is it now? What do you like, brother? Uh, well, I don't have to change this with What nonsense? What is it? Uh, Who is that man and what's the problem? Uh, 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 what message do you see you have for a call, is it? Because I might be seeing him after all. You said you were coming to change your life. Unfortunately, that's not what I I hope there's no problem. Ah, sit. That's it. No. I'm fine standing. Okay. Okay. Zinezo, I do not want you to misunderstand me. Please. The reason I'm here is not to insult you. I'm just trying to protect my interests. You're a good woman, no doubt. Likewise, your son, Akulisa. But nobody should bear the burden of the circumstances surrounding his death. What about you? He's the reason I'm talking to you in the first place. My only daughter has vowed that Akulisa is the only man she can be with. And my husband and I are not comfortable with that. <sighs> like I said, I'm not here to insult you. I'm just trying to protect my interests. Please, my husband and I will appreciate it if you could help us keep your son away from our daughter. Please. I'm sorry, you. That will not be funny. Biko, I want this to be my first and last visit 
concerning this issue. Please. may not be a good reason, but you can at least listen to me. He may be a drunk, I tried, but that man is of many sides. How do you mean? I have lost count of the number of times he told me things, like prophesying little things that are yet to happen, and they all happen the way he said So it. what are you trying to say in essence? That I, Princess Adese of Omifu, should start thinking of a drunk as a seer? Not exactly my princess, but they can call him back. I mean, behind the king, and make him explain all that he has been saying. My princess, I can bet on my life. That trunk actually saw the teeth. Wait, let me tell you something. My father has a countable number of beads in the palace. So we shouldn't stand there discussing one bead. Please. So get busy and never you stop me because of this nonsense. Did you hear me? I'm sorry, my princess. Yeah. Why are they dismissing him as nothing? Is he in? Who? Oh, I call it, sir. Yes. Yes, he is. This one. He brought it back. Let me have it then. Ah, why are you? Not so fast. He says something about this beat that I needed to explain. What did he say? I'm forgiving you. Not like I can help it. Since you're the only man that respects me in this kingdom. <laughs> of course. <laughs> you cannot help me. Neither can I. I have really grown to like you. <laughs> but you have to promise me. I don't want to ever discuss this issue again. What is it? By the beats? By forcing my mother to tell me who my father is. Why is he asking me to make this to go with? I was just about to ask him to make the same. What were you thinking? Were you ever going to think about what I said? Uh, not as if I am, you know, thinking about it. But that is you. Is one just can be serious as a non issue? Oh, is that? Indeed, that issue is a very serious one. I need to know. In my own time, and in my mother's time, yes, don't, I don't want to ever discuss the issue. Fine, fine. If it is what you want, no problem. I, 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 I back off. But there is no but. Just shut up and operate.
Are you okay? You gave that to your friend. You mean the bitch? Akoli, sir. I remember asking you about the bead. And you told me that it was intact. I'm sorry I lied to you about it. But that was because I noticed you seem to be attached to it. Akoli, sir, that bead is the most precious gift I gave to you. Why did you give it out? I have it back now. And I intend never to give it out again. Should I ask her about what you probably said that the huge man said about it? I can sir. I have said this several times. And I won't get tired of saying it. My son, you are special. Do not let whatever anyone has said to you to get to you. Always remember that your mother said that you are special. Always remember that. I mean always. That is surely a negative part of special. I hate myself. And I don't want to ever hate my mother. You got a friend! 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 We have gathered to fulfill the tradition of our forefathers. On the invitation of His Royal Highness, Eze, Ibrahim Alunanku of Umiyuku, as he prepares to name his son, Ibanugo, the Crown Prince of the Land. Any problem? Mm -hmm. Come with me. We have got out a very important tradition. And you should not cut it short. What is it? The king of our land should not teach me tradition. For I know it more than I know myself. You are confusing me the more. What do you mean? Onyeze, the tradition of our land, as it concerns succession to the throne, says the first son must take after his father as the king. And the same tradition is what you have just cut short. Eh? You have just interrupted it. Go back and name my son Ibuanugo as the crown prince and the heir apparent to the throne. Benyeze, 
Yes, sir. I see conspiracy. I see disobedience. I see a lot of things, my king. And I ask, why are you tempting the gods? What do you mean? Why? Why am I tempting the gods? How am I tempting the gods? Ibanigo, it's not your first blood. It's not your first son. And therefore, cannot be named the crown prince of the land. As it is, the gods are angry with you. Let me ask you. Obo of your Is this a joke or what? You are standing with the Eze. The king of Umuku people. Eh? There are things you cannot just say. A woman named Zimuza once experienced the man in you. Have you forgotten Zimuza so fast? Come. Come and tell me what causes that ugly frown on your face. I was with Okura Abara. You are speaking in Hindu. So I'm finding it difficult to understand. Okura Abara of Hindu. Please, speak to me in plain words. And I will do whatever you want. Your vibrant husband shall eventually emerge as the king of this kingdom. I know that already. He has already been named the next king. They are just waiting for the feast of Zirana to crown him king. The son you shall bear him is supposed to emerge the next king after his reign. But that will not happen if you fail to do what I'm asking you to do now. I will do anything to protect that interest. Do everything within your powers to send Zimoza back to her people. Do it today if possible. Her seed will rise to be an obstacle for your own seed. Why are you saying nothing? Okay. I don't know how to tell you this. I sent Zeruzo back to her people in Imiata. No, you did not. That maiden, apart from you, is the one I have trusted with even my life. She prepared what I drink and she She's nothing. I sent her back. I appreciate the fact that you have accepted that even to the extent of trusting her with your life. Like you just confirmed. The truth is that I'm the one that brought her here. And therefore you can send her back without even breathing a word of it to me? Why? I saw the reason to do so. That's why I did it. Oh. Do you mind sharing what the so-called need is? Why? Why is she daring me? Zimuza has become a core part of me. Why would you send her back without telling me? Why? Why are you resisting me tonight? Why? We cannot continue like this. We have started already and there's no way we're going to stop. I am only a maiden working for your wife. It is not right for you to take me every other day like you do. Here, I swear on Ajahn. I love you as a wife. I am not taking advantage of you. I will never abandon you. For you have created a space in my heart. A space that only you can feel forever. Resist me no more. I trust you with my life. Zimuzo. Yes, Zimuzo. I remember, I remember the beautiful maiden from Miyata. My wife took her in 
to assist her in her hair plating business. She later gained my trust and at this stage was bearing my cup. My wife fled that meeting without telling me. Yes, I remember the music. The music. But if I may ask, why are you asking this in this crucial period? Your wife acted on the order of Okula Amala. She fired her in order to prevent a seed from crashing with her. Unknown to her, she was already carrying the seed. You knew she was pregnant. <laughs> that seed has grown into a very vibrant and good man in Miata. He is your very first seed, and he must be named the crown prince of the land. <laughs> What have I done wrong to you? Why have you been chasing me all around? Why? Okay. You just have to kill me immediately. Because there's no escape route for me again. I guess it's the end of the world for you. Yes, it's the cross road for me. Then kill me! So everybody will have peace! Kill me! Do it! What are you waiting for? Kill me! Akoli, sir, you are awake. I thought you slept till lunch. Mother, I can't believe you allowed me to sleep this late. Did you sleep well last night? I guess so. You don't look it. Same old nightmare. The same woman pursuing you with a cutlass? This time around, she pinned me down. Instead of killing me, like I suppose she always wanted. She dropped the cutlass and walked away. Akoli, tell me, what, what does she look like? I told you, I cannot see her face, but I know it's that same woman. My son, you are special. Hmm? And I know that the gods are with you. I call it some no evil 
shall befall you. Always remember that. I'll be going. Okay, mother. Go well. She keeps saying that I am special. What can be special about a man without a known father? Even those that promised to come and make their head. Mazimiji and none of them is even showing up. Yes. There's a reason I came. I could have come to the hut, but I call Miss and I are having problems. I'm aware of it. But I hold nothing against you. Hmm? Hey, I know you understand and thank you very much for understanding me, but the truth is that I am not happy that we are apart. Please. But why are you having a problem with this? It's your decision. So why do you have a problem with your decision? I, 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 I honestly hold nothing against you. It's your decision and your life. I understand it. Yeah, I know. But it was a mistake. Please, I want you to help us come back together. <laughs> I'm no longer happy that we are part like this. Please. Amalecha, what do you want me to do? Me? Mm -hmm. I am living with my parents and I don't want to disobey them. Mm -hmm. I can stand the taunts of my friends, but I can't watch my parents unhappy. Just like Akolisa is to you. I am their only child in me. Amalecha. Anyone that wants you to disobey your parents and want you to make them unhappy is your enemy and not your friend. But, no. What about my own happiness? What about Akulisa's happiness? We love each other in me. We do. And you're the only one that can bring us together without offending anyone. Malicha, is that why you're kneeling down before me? Get up. Get up and sit down. Please leave her. Sit down. Me. I know he's your son. And I know very well that you love him so much. You wouldn't want to see him unhappy. Please. Even if you don't want to show him. But at least you can mention his father's name to him. I'm sure that will go a long way. Amalecha. Do you think I'm happy seeing my son sad? It breaks my heart. But some things are better left unsaid. For some reasons. <sighs> but I must assure you of one thing. That my son, Akolisa, has a father. A noble one at that. I don't want to provoke this noble man with the news that he has a son through me. It will be sacrilege. And that might make him lose his position. Position? <sighs> no, you're talking about position. Your son is dying already. He needs to know who his father is. Oh, Manicha. I want to stop piling up pressure on me. This noble man will one day get to know about his son and he will come for Akolisa. And I think that's the best and noble way to go about this. Keep this information to yourself.
Hello. Where you come from? What kind of insult is this now? Where you come from? Didn't people ask permission before they dig their hand into someone else's food? Me? Get permission from you before I, I eat from your food? Huh? No, yeah. why did you not eat it inside? Why bring it, uh, bring it out, uh, uh, outside? You better do that or else you go hungry. Because I'm certain you've not eaten since last night. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. For all time's sake, cool. for all time's sake, come on, eat. <laughs> oh, sir. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Uh, take take this small one. What is this now? What kind of embarrassment is this? Uh -huh. yeah. I had that same old nightmare. Mm -hmm. No wonder you are such a gluten this morning. Then you embark on that marathon again. Huh? But you joke with everything. Yeah? Uh, well, it is it is a dream. People dream all the time. Huh? Yes, it is. This is not your food. Well, ah, it is. Ah, what is it? Ah. You eat in my house, you don't drink this thing. Mm -mm. Your mother is wonderful when you come to food. Uh -huh. Did you ask your mother about what that big for nothing fool said about that news? Like you said, mm. he's a big for nothing fool. So don't bother about what he said. Uh. Yes. Is everything happening at the same time? First, the man returns his deeds, claiming that he belongs to a king, and a supposed royal figure takes me in my dream. And there's something that my mother is not telling me about those deeds. Ah. What is wrong? Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Drop it. Drop it. Okay. This maiden you see here is not only beautiful, she is gifted. Her hands are very crafty. I bet you will need those crafty hands more than her beautiful face. Your customer base is increasing by the day. Yes, of course. I told you before bringing her. She is going to leave with us. Her name is Zimuzo. You are welcome to our home, Zimuzo. Thank you. I am happy to be here. Me other people find it fulfilling to live with our people. I believe it is vice versa. Your maiden has a sense of humor, you know. <laughs> I'm getting to know that. <laughs> Let me take her to her. Okay, you are welcome once again, Zimoza. No, no. no. How was business today? Very well then. Zimuzo, I take the bag inside, huh? You are optimized today. No. I am overwhelmed. You should have been there and see how good and fast she was. Hmm. I saw it from day one. I am happy to see you excited. It simply means that the girl is giving you what you want. Without missing words. She is very good, even better than what the woman that recommended her told me. Hmm? 
You are always lucky with people. Is it that why you ended up with me? Don't even go there. Don't even go there. I agree. I am very, very lucky. I believe I might even leave the business for her. Mm -mm. You are not leaving your business with anybody. I know where you're going. I know where you're going. That will not happen. Eh? Okay, I'm not a lazy one. Where is the hell? Where is the hell? You cannot allow me to use you that way. You are not using me. I am happy to do it. You are here to help me with my business, not to be my house help. You feed me. You clothe me. You give me shelter. If anything, I see myself as a sister and not a helper. Please, allow me to be more useful. Please. See, Muzo, you are already useful. Can't you see how much you make for me in a day? That is enough for me. Hmm? Maybe you do not trust me enough to entrust other domestic chores to me. It's okay. I just want to show you what I can do. I love to work. Please, allow me to work. Please. Fine. You can do it. If the only interpretation you can give my refusal not to allow you to do domestic choice is that I did not trust you, then I prove you wrong. Henceforth, free free. Do whatever domestic choice you want to do. Hmm? Thank you. Now I have a better sense of belonging. Thanks for this opportunity. Your hair is fine. You are good to go. Hmm? Thank you. My mother said she has paid you already. Yes, that's why I say you're good to go. Hmm? Did I ask you for money? Let's go. Yes, yeah. Uh -huh. Bye bye. See, Muzo, I am thinking, since there is no awaiting customer, we can go home and cook dinner. Hmm? The sun is almost set. We can cook dinner as soon as we get home. I just want to be with you. Yes, I agree. Just go and do it. Hmm? I'm beginning to be the only one that cooks at night. No, it's no good. Yeah? I can handle the customer that comes from now. Just go and do it. Yeah? Okay, I will be on my way. Hmm. Uh -huh. Remember, it is a salad soup. Put more in Kazi to eat. Hmm? You know, my husband loves it that way. Hmm? We are the owners of a salad soup, remember? Yeah? I know how men like it more. I will do just that. Just a ghost. Mother, we have been everywhere in the palace looking for you. Mother, is she okay? Mother, you cry? I won't come back to my home. Treated her like a sister. And then she turned around and stabbed me up. I suppose you are talking about that so called Zimuzo. Hey! Why would she be talking about Zimuzo? She's a nobody that nobody knows. What is wrong with you? You think everything can pass for jokes? Eh? I dare say. Did I not tell you that all this is politics? That man was paid to disrupt the event. But do not worry. It's just a matter of time and he'll be punished for it. For your information, that event is too sacred for anyone to disrupt without a good reason. So you're trying to say there is someone somewhere that bears the name Zimuzo that has a son for father? Mm. 
Don't you worry, everything will be sorted down. <laughs> Could there be truth in the drunk's words? Could he be right? Maybe you're the only sane person in the palace right now. What? Maybe that drunk knows something. What's drunk? A Calusian man. Excuse me. What does any sane person have to do with that drunk? I don't get this. You mean he came here just to ponder over what the drug said? Then I at least see one same person in this palace. Ha! If you ask me, I suggest we must investigate further before taking any action. What investigation do you want to carry out, Ichiogu? Huh? The investigation we should carry out. Ichiogu. It's all good. What? The king has already confirmed that he had the carnal knowledge of the woman in question. And he dropped his active royal seed in her. Yeah, it's all good. Don't forget that I'm still sitting on this throne as your king. Eh? You know, I'm sorry, my king. No insult intended. I just want to give it all good here. The, the answer you need to, to clear his confusion. Go and get Zinuzo. She is from Umiata. And that is all I know about her. Oh, yes. Some other leaves can be bitter, not just the bitter leaves. There could be lots of zimuzos in Miata. So what do we do? Do we go about getting all the zimuzos here? Yes! Yes! I say yes! If it comes to that. Huh? The revered Ubi Amalanangu, king of Umiko, is looking for a woman from Miata called Zimuzo. Huh? If it means assembling all the zimuzos from Miata, before me, you must do it. No, 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 no. Hold on, yes. Don't do as I said now. Let me think about this. I can come out with a better solution. Okay. Yes! And this meeting reconvenes tomorrow at sunset. He did not vacate himself from his former order. Could we have gone out searching for every Zimuza in the Miata as a great year? Ichogu, you are still here discussing an order the king has suspended. I'm moving. The meeting reconvenes as sunset tomorrow. I agree, but finally. Come back to my suggestion. Yes. What suggestion? Yes. Whenever you see me suffer, then no. That there is a very big problem in this kingdom. But since this seems to be everywhere, Akalusia will continue to jolly. Yes. Ah, what about this? Trouble comes my way. What has Akalusia done to you this time? Everyone knows that Akalusia does not do any kind of conspiracy. Speak whatever you want to speak in the presence of everyone here. Yes. Come with me now. I will be first to drag you out. I will be to talk to you. Maybe the latter will be more spectacular. My friends, is there the problem? Where are you taking a police to? All of you know who to hold responsible. If anything happens to Akalusia, my friends. Zendim, Abu Me Zendim, Mana, 
Fica no céu. Fica no céu. Do not engage yourself in violence. Okay, oh, what is going on? <laughs> eh? <laughs> My brother, we are here to take. Oh, <laughs> so let us concentrate on that. Eh? I can't see a pretty man who can always suck himself out. Eh? So I need more skill. Okay, I will plead. Please tell me. Tell me what I need to hear. You should hear how horrible you sound. Princess, do not plead for anything. But I am pleading. That to show you how serious this is. Please. Eh? Are you not supposed to be talking about things? You are supposed to be talking about money. Ingenie, I don't want to force you to tell me this. What is wrong with you? Why do we be talking serious something here and this people look like, look like this drunk? Hmm. Hmm. When I am beginning to think of how to suspend the original request of how much to pay, he says the unthinkable. You, Principal Lugo, will force a Kalustia in Kenya. Try it and see where the use of this land will be digging a grave tomorrow morning. Either in the palace or in my place. Idiot. Idiot. Thank your stance that the world is not strong enough today. That is why you are living here the way you came. I would have killed you right here and buried you here. The meeting with the elders will never come to an end. Greetings, Father. How are you? The question is, how are you, Father? Because every other person in the palace seems to be insane. The kingdom is undergoing serious triathlon of my daughter. Omoefi of Osoba made a very disturbing declaration. That tells how horrible the kingdom is. For him to have received whatever bribe anyone gave to him to say what he said meant he is a very horrible man. Damn you, Chum! I forbid you, Chiyere. Omoefi of Osoba. Forget to find out. You see, he mixed up with everybody and looking very ordinary. He's a man of the gods, and nobody is allowed to speak evil of him. I am sorry, Father, but I thought the gods are meant to protect these people. How come their man is trying to destroy the kingdom? Now, go and call your mother for me. What's that for me? I said, go and call your mother for me. Tell her I want to see her right here and now. But I was trying to make a point. I was just telling you how everything... I... You will do it. But first of all, go and tell your mother I want to see her. You can leave at once. Go! I would have sent men to see for her. But I think God is right to discuss with you first. Are you still with me? Yes, my king. I believe finally how will be the first step. I never knew you would humiliate me this way. I have been a good wife. Is this how I get paid? But you know how much I love you. <gasps> Yet you slept with her right under my nose. <gasps> Nothing stops any man in this kingdom from taking as many wives as he wants, let alone you, a king. You should have at least married her instead I am of... sorry, I am sorry, my dear. I was about doing that, exactly. But you sent her away without notifying me. Oh, so I, I get blamed for it now, right? No, no, no. Blamed. I will not blame you. You are not to be blamed. Neither will I blame anyone. This is not a time to apportion blame, Lord. It's a time to make things right. Are you not the king? You can decide whatever you like. But just know that I am your wife. Your only wife. And my son will take over from you as the king. Do not It will never happen. It will not. How will that happen? Oh, 
Why would father let himself be fooled like that? I was a fool in the past. And I promise you something. It will never happen again. What? What is he asking from you? That you should take them to her? Since I seem to be the only one that knows where Zinuza lives, father must be joking. Why would he ask you for that? Why would he even think to that direction? I have been a very submissive wife. So he expects that anything he asks of me, I will do it. I don't think this is fair on you. But I will still ask. What do you intend doing? <laughs> Adese, that question is uncalled for. Of course she's going nowhere. No woman in her right sense is good. If they want to bring the woman back, they have to suffer to do it. Mother is going nowhere. Right, mother? They want to see Zenozo. It is important that they see her. There's really nothing, absolutely nothing that I can do about it. Is that me? Are you being serious, son? Father, this is not the right time to joke, even though I have never been a joker. But why didn't you tell me that is why? Why are you just telling me today? You should have told me immediately you had it. Father, I cannot remember anyone taking Aka Lucian very seriously. As a matter of fact, I never gave thoughts to his words on TV. Not an iota. A Kalosian again. Of a moon. What does he know? As usual, I. I tried hard to do this. But, you know, the usual way. He's always drunk. He was too drunk to answer my question. Couldn't get nothing out of it. It is normally said that drunks are serious. Could it be true this time? Father, as much as I hate to ask you this, but is there any truth in all of this? My son, between you and I, I loved that woman. And uh, I can remember I took her a number of times. But there was no pregnancy before she left. I pray. I pray that all this will be a joke or maybe a mistake. Because all my life I have dreamt about this truth. Your mother is the only one that can lead us to her now. But I don't think she's ready for that now. And it will be unfair to force her to do that. But let us see if I can see again. Can we have help? Yes. Hi, I did not realize that things have gone bad between you and her. Now you know. Hi! Omalicha! Omalicha, I'm talking! 
Oh, you know what? What is it? When did this fight start between us? Please, I am not caught out for any question now. I am not ready for it. I'm sorry, but I, I need to know. Why are you pretending? You've always wanted me to stop talking to him. Now I have stopped. Why are you pretending to be surprised all of a sudden? Oh my God. Nobody told you to stop talking to him. We are only concerned that your decision with him might cost you the right to talk. Hey! Good luck to you all then. We don't even get to talk again. We don't greet anymore. Rejoice! No wonder she has been very bitter lately. I think she truly loves him. Omalicha! Um, what, what is that? Yeah? What do you mean, what am I telling you now? Obviously, you don't understand what Omalicha means to me. Because if you did, you wouldn't have kept that message to yourself. You just told me what she said because, of, because we saw her. Uh, it does not make any difference. Yeah? The most important thing is that I have told you already. Well, I did not see any different notes. Like you said, she kept away from me since she broke up. So coming to tell you that she still loves me, that is nonsense. Yeah. Who does that? I could say anything. I don't see why you should blame her for that. You understand? As a matter of fact, she tried. Then she gave up. No maiden, no maiden could ever understand the humiliation she went through. Then she gave up. Making nonsense of all the initial resistance. You know what? It's fine. I do not blame her for anything. Are you planning to go after her? That is a woman who goes to the mother's age. She must not be ready to be your sister. I'm so happy to see you. Say that. How do you feel? Same here. How are your parents? They are dead. I'm touched. Sorry about that. It's okay. It happened uh, long ago and I've gotten over it. Hmm. Same old Zimuzon. Always been tough. You must have a good reason for asking me to leave. I will not question you. Seriously. I don't understand why I'm sending you back. But I think it is for good. I want to believe so too. You must leave tomorrow morning as soon as my husband leaves. He must not know about it. He may not like that. He has come to trust me so much. Enough about him. He is my husband. Let me talk to him about it. Please. It's okay. I should leave this night if you ask me. Don't get me wrong. But I'm asking you to leave does not mean that I hate you. I still love you. I don't want to risk your life. You will leave tomorrow morning. I must not know about it. I think I should leave now that is asleep. Darkness conceals a lot of things. I have to leave. If you think you can handle the darkness, then fine. Good night. She's not even bothered that I'm sending her away.
You're always tough. I remember that night I asked you to leave. You were not bothered. Because you said it was for good. And I hate to fight about anything. Because I know that the gods are guiding our steps. I admire that. I'm so happy to see you. How is the king? At least, don't take it personal. I know that he was a crown prince when I left. I figured he must be king now. Um, your, your parents are gone. Do you live here all by yourself? We never got married. I'm happy with my life. That's all that matters now. You don't have children? <laughs> I mean, people that would take care of you at your old age. Oh, my old age will be fine. The gods are watching over me, you know. Well, I think I have my answer now. Well, I have to leave now. I was around to see a new friend and um, decided to come and see your parents, but they are gone. It's okay. I'm glad that I met you. I'm so happy to see you too. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Thank you. You take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Something is already happening at the palace of Umuiko. That's the only reason she suddenly has a friend in Miata. They all call me a drunk. Yet, they think I know anything of such importance. Igwe, how can a drunk be part of this kind of gathering? I cannot see again. You always drink and you get drunk whenever you want. Eh? You were not like this before. Go on the bar. Where? By that you are implying that I got the woman pregnant by the time I was not in my drunken state. What is he talking about? Take him away. He knows nothing. No, father. Don't. He doesn't know anything. Take him away. Father, he knows something. Uh, my prince, this is a total waste of time. He doesn't know anything. I can see. Whether you are drunk or not, you and I know the truth. You told me something, but only you know why you said that. Only if the gods, only if the gods will let this not pass. Does any of you now understand how important Akalosia feels? Oh yes, sir. No human being is tempted. Mm -hmm. I believe he knows something. It's a we must it's figure out the, the best way to get it out of him. Greetings, my king. My elders. Greetings. Well, we're greeting, Mama. You can never get anything out of him because there's nothing to be gotten. He made a serious statement to the press, and you know about it. Mama. My king. What will you get out of a trunk? I love him. May, may I please speak with you? Mother, you can't say that. I couldn't have made all this. I'm not saying that. But maybe what I'm saying is that what uh, Akalusia told you has no meaning in it. I went to Miata today. Eh? Huh? You went to Miata? To see Zinozo, to be precise. But we agreed you should go with my elders. I decided to go alone first. Did you see her then? But, mother, did you see him? Did you see the son? I had my doubts. Though I kept it to myself. A worthy of Osoba might be working with our enemies. How do you mean? 
Zulus will never got married. Mm -hmm. Ever since she left here, she has been living alone in her parents' heart. Mm -hmm. And yes, she has no son. She never got married. But I have my doubt. The of your first of all never lies. Maybe he did not set out deliberately to lie to you. He just did not have the right to put it. Look, the gods can bear me witness. All I am telling you now were confirmed when I visited a Zimuzo. Mother. I saw it in your eyes. Omanicha, I know you still love me. But does it matter? It doesn't matter when we cannot even be together. Who said we cannot be together? I am not an outcast. I'm not a thief. I don't even know what to say. You said it to Upengwele. Why can't you say it to me? Oh, Lisa, please. You have to leave. You have to leave now. My parents will come to After you broke up with me, I was broken, thinking you never loved me. Our oh, relationship lasted long because I loved you so much. I love you, Akoli, sir. I do. But we must not be together. Oh, Amanda, I, I may never get to know who my father is. But does that mean we cannot be together? Love is not supposed to be conditional. I hope that please you. You really have to go now. Okay? I, I can't be with you now. Please. Because you're from Umeiko. I'm married here. I no longer live at Umeiko. But you're still the only one that can give me information. Information about no other than me drunk? It could have been better if you asked of a noble person, a noble man. Akalosia, a drunk? Are you sure we're talking about the same person here? Obviously. You knew him when he was a noble man. For years now. Kalusia has been a notorious drunk. Everyone in Umiku abhors him for that. Why won't you accept my proposal and marry me, Zimuzu? If you must continue this way, then I will stop coming here. Why? Can't we take this our friendship further? Listen, I appreciate your friendship. As it is, you are the only friend that I have here. But I will not marry you. Why? I, I, am I not man enough for you? Akalusia, no. If you go on like this, I will stop coming here. Maybe you have your eyes on another man. Okay. Our friendship is too precious for me to destroy. I won't bother you again. Don't worry. You will find a good wife to marry. Hmm? And meanwhile, I have good news. Good news. You, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going for good news. So, well, the last news you brought was that she increased your pay and the husband have started to trust you. How did it transform asking you to go back to Umiyasa? I did not bother to question her. Are you sure you did not offend her? None that I know about. No, this is wickedness. This is very unfair. Even if she has any good reason, I do not think it is good enough for her to send you out this night. She asked that I wait for money. I chose to leave this night so that I can stop here and tell you. 
If you allow me, I will sleep over and continue in the morning. Of course, you can trust me with anything. Okay. Akalosia was a noble man. Well, not anymore. Is there something you have to tell me that has nothing to do with being drunk? Honestly, I can't still believe that Akalosia is a drunk. Tell me, what happened to him? Can you feel me? Not that he's that kind of drunkard that staggers to and fro. But he is so addicted to alcohol that he drinks heavily every day. Well, some said he was frustrated into the habit. A Kalosia frustrated? No. Kalosia was a happy man. Is there anything you have to do with him anyway? Oh, no. He was an old friend. Well, nothing else. Your old friend is now a drunk. Can you now start making my hair now? You amazed me, Onyeze. Why would you doubt the words of the gods? Not at all. Never. And you know that that is the last thing that I will do? Then what is the meaning of what you just said? My wife was the one that brought in that maiden in the first place. And you know that before now. She returned to her and did not see a son with her. Not talk of having a son for me. And <laughs> you say, you did not just say that, did you? I am telling you what happened. Are you here asking questions? Or do you think it's a mistake? Abomination. It is an abomination for me to say a word of my own and claim it comes from the gods. I will never survive a night after that. You know that? Yes, I know. But what interpretation shall we give this one now? Onyeze, your wife actually was the one that sent that woman away. Yes. When it was not obvious that she has your seed in her. Do you think that at this time she will do anything that will prove the woman has a son for you? No. Onyeze, I want you to know that our gods are patient. You are not you. You have all the time to make things right. But you must not make the gods look like fools. No one has ever done that and survived it. You have been a decent thing to the people. Do not paralyze yourself with your unguided assumptions. Think about it. <laughs> Oma Lecha, this thing has ended. Why are you still standing here with the leader? Ojumwa, she did not arrive here with you. She's still here because I want to have a private discussion with her. Hmm? Private meeting? Different from the ones we just ended. Why are we creating confusion among ourselves? If anyone is confused, that person chose to be. So please excuse us. Let us go. <laughs> I heard about it and I'm so proud of you. <laughs> it depends on what you heard. You deserve better, trust me. You see that now you have put him out of your way. Responsible men will notice you. <laughs> I should have known. I should have known you're talking about Akolisa. Believe me, he's not good for you. Hmm? Ado Debu, I still do not understand your interest in all this. Seriously, I don't. We are the leaders 
And so it bothers me so much when these maidens talk about you with no respect and I cannot help. But now, <laughs> they will have no reason to talk. Do I look like I care? I don't care. Whether you do good or bad, people must always talk about you. I do not care, Adadi Ebube. I don't. Oh, my child, do not bother yourself, okay? Very soon, better men will notice you. Hmm? <laughs> Anna, please, can we change this topic? If we can change this topic, then it will be better for both of us. Ah. That man you see there is a very decent man. He is not a bad man. He should not be spoken wrongly about. Please. Where could he be now? Is anybody home? Is anyone at home? I don't want to believe that this is a calosia. You cannot be serious. The only reason I let you come all the way is because I am serious. <sighs> now I understand why his wife sent you away the way she did. No. She did not know. What? I did not know about it then either. I just discovered. How do you claim that he is responsible? I am sure. He is the only man that I have ever given myself to. I am telling you the truth. It is the same reason I turned down your marriage proposal and insisted that we remain good friends. So what do you expect me to do? Yeah? I don't know what to do. I am scared. Nobody knows about us yet. Not even my mother. Uh, eventually, they will know you can't cover your pregnancy with your hand. So... They will know that I am pregnant. But they must not know who the father is. I must protect my child. If that be the case, why are you telling me? I cannot keep this to myself either. I need someone to trust. Someone I can share my secret with. And the only person that fits in is you. Akalusia. I know you too well. You cannot betray a friend. I am really humbled. I will do whatsoever you want me to do. And I will do what I can to protect you and your child. Thank you. Is this Zimoza that I'm seeing? Or are my eyes deceiving me? I can't see. What happened to you? This is not how I, I hope to see you after all these years. Akalosia is old and better. Old wine, they say, test best. Yes. Was that why you stopped coming to see us? Demozam, I have had a lot recently on my mind. How are you and your boy? My boy is now a man. Ah! A man! Old enough to come and rule his people. I've never ceased to think about him whenever I see Lord Rosa Marcus' son misbehaving. I can understand. Now that you have told yourself this way, I don't know if you if to take your word seriously. The mother I can go home. When I can, I will come and see you. Yes. 
you've not visited in years. I thought you got married. And that was why you decided to stay away. By the gods, no wife can make a Kalosia to forget such a good woman like you. You have always been in my heart. And I hope to make a time so that I can come, so that we can have a reasonable conversation. As you can see, I had it good today. I want to go in now and have my sleep. Yes. What could have led him into this kind of life? What happened to you? I never expected it to turn out that way. You have the very sober Akalo Changri now. I advise you to utilize the opportunity. What do you want? You stopped coming to see me. Is there any problem? Or did I do anything to offend you? A lot has happened to my life these last years. But can we skip them? What are you? Welcome, my dear. Uh, greetings, Mama Kuliza. You're welcome. I do not need any here to tell me that he's the one. I have only one child. I never remarried. Mm. He still hold on to that single act of Obama Lampu as marriage rights. <laughs> but that's what it is. He married me by a journey. And I hold that marriage so sacred in my heart. Hmm. You are still the same old Zimu's of strong and courageous. The woman of the gods. Who respects the customs of the land? I don't, I don't even like that man anyway. Do you think that this is a joke? I should be a fool if I if I joke with this kind of thing. Oh. See, if that man is my father, I would have felt some kind of connection with him. What sort of connection? Huh? You would have been magnetized to him or what? Maybe. Maybe. Yes. How could he say? You confess that you have never seen your mother with any man since you became a man. And suddenly this man shows up from nowhere. And did you look, see the way he looked at you? The same way he looked at you. Don't twist my own. Ah, you say? Why are you annoying me? Why? Listen, I appreciate your concern. But I would rather trust my mother. If that man is my father and he finally shows up, hmm. My mother would have introduced him to me. See, I wouldn't want to discuss your assumption with my mother. And I want this discussion to end here. <laughs> that man looks like your father. Oh. That's stupid. Yes, your thoughts are right. Meaning that the original about my son. I was called at the palace. According to the press, in one of my drunken days, I made a statement about his older brother. They wanted to find out what I know. Hmm. That means that her visit wasn't in vain. What did you tell them? Nothing that they want to know. But you see, you don't have to hide the boy away forever. Especially now that the girls are involved. I know. But I want my son's safety. Zemo Zao. You don't have to keep the boy away from his people. It's time. I mean, 
it's time you take him to his people and bring him home. I know I can trust you. But how would they believe you? Especially now that everyone sees you as a useless drunk. The same useless drunk that they once invited for information. Don't worry. Now that I've seen you and the grown up man, I think I am convinced that it's time. I shall be living now. Do me a favor.